This is Ken from Last Chance Knives. I'm out here today playing around with the Leatherman Signal. This tool has received a lot of hype as a multi-tool for the outdoors. Although there seems to be something a little bit odd on my signal. In particular, there's something that's missing. It has no serrations. This blade is made from 1 8 inch 01 tool steel with a convex grind. It has a 90 degree spine. It locks up just fine on the liner lock and when you close it you can hear it click and the ball detent right here functions and keeps the blade closed. It's left a little bit higher than the original blade so that it can work as a scraper even when it's closed. We'll also do a fine job scraping a ferro rod, and you don't even have to have the blade open. So there you have it. The Leatherman Signal with its biggest problem addressed, the blade. Serrations do not belong on an outdoors knife. Next, I will show some highlights about the making of this blade. Thanks for watching. Make sure you like, share, and subscribe.
This is an update on the progress I've been making with the signal. I have the new blade fitting. It works fine with the liner lock. And with the stops. Stops nicely. Liner lock engage is perfect. But I do have one problem remaining with it. It's not closing all the way. The problem actually comes from the awl. If I open the tool and leave the awl out, the blade closes fine and comes out fine. I w the idea was to make this a Scandi grind. But what's happening, let me close this awl. When the awl is closed, see right down in there, see that silver? That's the bottom of the awl. And when you close the knife blade, the grind hits the awl, pushes it over that way, and wedges the blade against the side of the scale here. I wanted to stay with the Scandi grind but the grind has to be brought up higher on the blade to allow for more clearance. So I'm going to turn it into either a Scandivex or maybe even a pure convex. So I'm going to keep grinding and we'll see what I end up with when I get enough clearance for it to close all the way. I finally got the blade all fitted. You can see the ball detent right there. That's working. It opens nice. Clicks into place. You can see the stop here. And the liner lock is perfect. Opens and closes one handed now. Next thing I'm going to do is clean this up just a little bit more and then do the heat treat. The heat treat is finished, both the hardening and the tempering processes. Can you see that nice straw color that's on the blade? That's what we're looking for. Now I'm going to clean this up a little bit, sharpen it, and install it on the signal. Here we have the Leatherman signal all put together with the new blade. I made it so it sticks up a little bit higher so it can be used as a scraper even when closed. You can see the ball detent right in there. So it still works and holds the blade closed. It can be deployed one handed. The lockup is nice and solid. You can see where the liner lock engages. And you got your stop here too for how far the blade opens. You have convex edge. With a 90 degree spine.